don't use an Ishikawa diagram to find the root cause. Hello, I'm Tom. Welcome to my channel where we talk about continuous improvement in an industrial setting. And in this video, I want to talk about not using a fishbone diagram for finding the root cause. There are better ways for that. For instance, the five whys. So let me show you why I don't like this visualization for finding the root cause and how you can use it within the steps of problem solving. So the basic way to use this diagram is that you have a problem description and then you state the main categories where you expect your causes. And the first level is to have a physical cause. For instance, in machine we can have that the temperature goes over 180. And with method, we could have that there is no check during a shift. And like this, you try to find causes in each of those categories. Now, when we're finding a root cause, we go deeper. We say, so why is the temperature not reaching 180 degrees? So there might be a bad signal. And then the bad signal has a cause, and then you have a cause, and over here we have a root cause. But when we do this, for lots of different possible physical causes, this diagram will become very messy. You see, you quickly will lose the overview if you plot them out like this. That's why use this diagram for the first level causes only, then check whether or not those assumptions prove true, discuss with your group which of those do we find the most probable, and those separately do a 5Y analysis in a good way. You will make this or that a lot more visual if you do them in a separate 5Y analysis. So where is a good place for this diagram in your root cause problem solving? That's to get your team of experts to really think about different aspects of the same problem. So if you see that your team comes up with a lot of method themed causes, you can push a little bit more is there really nothing that our people are doing wrong or that the material is causing this problem? So go through the categories. And what I suggest is that you just go round and round in your group of participants and just let them add something. But as a facilitator, you specifically ask about the category that has only a very few number of potential causes. Also, what you would like, because this is a brainstorming tool, is that people put their maybe expectations on here. So it doesn't have to be checked yet. We just want to know what is affecting possibly our problem. It doesn't have to be proven yet. And that we will do as a second step in making this diagram because you will go to the shop floor or through the data and you will say, no, that is not true. The person was trained. The temperature, yes, actually that one does go over 180. Uh, we do not have a check, but this is wrong and our machinery is good and at some point we say, uh -huh, a number of checked possible causes were not the cause, at least not in this case, and which ones will we study further? And as a team we say that one will go into the next round of analysis and you know what? We will also take this one into our next round of analysis and from those two we make a 5Y root cause analysis and there we will find the root cause. But this fishbone diagram is to broaden your scope and to make sure that you are not missing any potential causes and to really jerk the brains of everybody who's involved in your root cause analysis. Don't use it to find the root cause. That's the second step that we do separately in a number of 5Y analyses. So let me know in the comments, 
Do you agree with my take that the analysis phase should be separated in a broad brainstorm and then a deep root cause analysis in only a few of these using the five whys? Or do you have very good experience actually making these more complicated diagrams in one big picture? Maybe to get a good overview. I'd like to hear from you in the comments. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and good luck in your root cause analysis. But as always, enjoy the journey.